Hi, I'm Brandon. My name's Harley. This is six year old Harley. Harley. Brent, welcome home. Thank you. You know, in the movie Trekkies, there's a scene where uh, a woman has a photo album. She's a fan of yours. Page after page, it's the same photo of you. <laughs> Turning the page, she gets to the last page of the photo album. It's a, it's a photo of all the other photos. <laughs> well, you saw that scene. Yeah. It, it, it's your, is your restraining order against her still active? <laughs> Actually, we're married now. <laughs> what did you think when you saw that? I, you know what? I've never seen it. You have to see it. No. Oh, you're lying. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, no, I've actually never seen it. I, uh, I've heard about that, and uh, I'm terrified. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Welcome to Houston. How about, how about fans, though? Uh, have any of you met a fan where you knew that you had made a real change in their life and they just said something to you that just really kind of like, wow, I feel amazing? Because, I mean, all of you, in one way or another, really have helped myself. I mean, Star Trek, like I said before you came out here, was always something that, you know, I could be having the worst time of my life. And it was just a, it was a comfort food, you know. I could turn it on and it just made me feel good and forget about the problems of the world. Or maybe even make me think of the problems of the world when it was an allegory. But have you met a fan, any of you, where you just, you're like, wow, I think I've really done something good here. <laughs> I mean, I've had several fans who uh, have come up to me who are young people in their, in their 20s or early 30s who have said, I, had, I have Asperger's and, yeah, when I, okay, man. And uh, when I was a kid, I, I couldn't relate to anything on television except data and subsequently seven, yeah. And, uh, no idea that was happening at the time, um, and I'm glad I didn't know because I, I probably would have pushed the writers to go further with that and blown the whole thing for them. But it's so moving to realize that you had this impact. You know, we were there, hopefully, to entertain people. That was our idea. Uh, let's give people an hour of entertainment, and that there was this other thing happening, this ancillary thing that was so much deeper than that is, is kind of overwhelming, really. That's true, and I was aware of it because I had gotten fan letters from several people who were on the autism spectrum who, who said that they so related to Seven and it meant so much to them for them to see someone like them dealing with the same kind of things that they deal with and how you interrelate with other people and um, who felt like them. And it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's, it's a very powerful thing. It really is. To hear. Oh, hello. Hi, what's your name? Uh, Clint. Nice to meet you guys. I, I have a question, but before that, back in the 80s, both my parents worked and they, everybody couldn't always be together with the family, but we always found a way to get together to watch Star Trek The Next Generation. So. See, that's another thing right there. That's another one of those things that we hear from people that is so uh, rewarding. And, uh, I can't, you know, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my question is not Star Trek related as much, but kind of is. On the well, show Orwell, uh, there's a character, I think it's Isaac, sounds just like you, Mr. Spiner. Is it you, or is it, is it, ta it taken off of you? Are you? It's an homage. You're not involved with it at all? No, it's not me, and I'm not involved with it, but uh, I, I, and I, I, I'm sure this guy, I, I've heard he's, he's a terrific actor, and uh, uh, you know, God bless him. <laughs> As that show tries to uh, really pay off to Star Trek in a way, you well, guys, the series have you guys been approached about possibly say, going on to it? Or... Do I see me going on to it? Uh, I see me starring in it. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much anything at any time. Exactly. Uh, name another show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have any of you seen the latest incarnation, Star Trek Discovery? Have any of you seen an episode yet? Not, not yet. Not yet. Okay. No, they're, they're, they're getting my, they're four ninety five a month out of me or whatever it is. <laughs> but I, 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 I haven't, I, I, I'm going to binge watch it. I, I, I love the opportunity to binge something that I'm really into, so 
I will I will binge watch Discovery, and I'm sure I like it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big Star Trek fan. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna binge uh, our show. One the next generation. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Chris. Hi, uh, I'm gonna bring a touch of Houston here, and Brent, this is kind of about your early work career, I guess. Uh, my mom used to know you as a teenager, and um, I was just wondering. Would you like to said, explain that, sir? <laughs> You look familiar to me. I think the word son might be the word. Go ahead, Junior. <laughs> she said you used to work at Astro World. I'm wondering if that was part of your early career in performing. Yes? Uh, Astro World? Yeah. 